Hey guys, this is Pokemaniac101, and welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. In the last episode, we made it through this torture dungeon, and we finally got um, the third crystal. Now, yeah, third, three is not a lot when you consider that we have to get seven of these things, and it is Saturday before uh, my <laughs> Nintendo Switch Online subscription runs out, and... Yeah, that's that's a little scary because it, it runs out Monday at like 4.30 and I still have four crystals and Ganon to get, so let's just get straight into it. Now the fourth one, uh, I don't know why I don't know how <laughs> why I'm there. Um the fourth one is down in here in Kakarika Village, so um, hopefully it should be pretty easy to get to. Now before we go into the dungeon, we need to go to the light world, and that's because um, there's actually something here we need to get. Now I will admit, I did look up a couple things, um, not like story spoilers or like, um, you know, how to complete the dungeons or anything, just like small little quality of life things that will help us get through the game <laughs> as fast as possible. So there's a guy around here that um, lost his son to um, the Golden Power, and we met him a while ago, but I just didn't really <laughs> know what he was about. So. Um, we met his son in the last episode, or the episode before that, I don't really remember. But it was that little, there was that kid in the woods who was playing for all the animals. And I'm pretty sure I did mention, like, the connection between these two. Um, but this guy, if we wake him up, uh, how do we wake this guy up? Uh, maybe we have to play the flute for him. Um, that, will, that was his son's instrument anyway. Oh, oh, this is my son's flute. Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he alright? Oh, I see. Well, I can tell what you want to say by the look in your eyes. Would, would you keep the flute, and will you play its sweet melody for the bird in the village square? I beg of you, please. My son would probably want it this way. But still, I wish I could see him once more. Um, okay, I thought I thought this guy has something for us. Um, maybe we have to actually, <laughs> maybe we actually have to play the flute for the bird. Um, I knew we had to go to that guy to find out something about what we need to do, but um, I wasn't really. I thought he'd like give us something. So, um, that's bird in the middle of the square I think is over by where the dungeon is in the whoa in the dark world so I think it's actually up here uh there we go here's the fountain um so I don't actually know what happens if we play the flute but I guess let's go ahead and try it's a long song <laughs> whoa it's actually turned into an actual duck um all right. <laughs> Hello, duck. Um, what do you want? Um, all right. He just flew away. What? What was that about? I, that was supposed to help us somehow, but I have no idea what it what it was. Uh, do we have to like? Uh, let's try playing the flute again to see if the duck will come back. Maybe. Whoa! Yeah, he came back and then he picked us up. Whoa! Oh, can we? Oh, can we teleport now? Oh, that's actually really cool. We can like teleport using the duck. The duck, will, <laughs> the duck will fly us anywhere we need to be. That's actually, it's actually pretty cool. So yeah, that I, I guess that will help us fly around, uh, fly around the world. But he dropped us off in kind of a rough, rough spot. Um, so let's uh, let's play this flute again. <laughs> He'll pick us up, and then we can go back over to Kakarika Village. So we need to go over. The, there we go. <laughs> over here, and then back into the portal. Uh, where was my portal? Here it is. And then now we can go into the dungeon. So, we didn't need to get that, but it will make it a lot easier on me <laughs> for, um, cutting down traveling time, because I'm already limited on time anyway, so... Uh, do we have to- Whoa! Uh, hello. Uh, apparently we just had to pull on the doors to open them. <laughs> I wasn't really sure what to do. I thought you might have to play the flute, but... Try just in case. Whoa. Uh, let's run our oh, Okay. Well, it looks like it looks like a big maze, kind of like what we saw in the last episode. Uh, all right, let's look at let's take out some of these guys. Um, is there gonna be any health around here? Because it'd be nice to get some health. Okay, what's in this? Oh, here. Okay, they give us the map right away. All right, so what's gonna be? Oh yeah, this is a massive just maze. Um, dang, I don't really like mazes that much. Uh, let's take out this guy. And then I guess just find our way around here. Oh, uh, is this gonna bring us- oh, okay, that actually brings us over to the next room, so... It's really just a massive 
massive maze that's just spread out over a lot of different rooms. So let's avoid these fireballs. Let's go down. Whoa. Uh, did I turn into a rabbit? Oh, I did. <laughs> I turned into a rabbit link again. Oh, there's a chest right here. Um, hopefully... It okay, it's the compass. Alright, this is actually... This actually might be really easy. We just have to, like... <laughs> we just have to get get to the boss. That was really, really quick. Um, yeah, I'm starting to wonder how how easy this dungeon's gonna be now. <laughs> because they're just giving us everything immediately, like... The real challenge is gonna be later on. As far as I can tell, there's no really... Like puzzle to this just yet. It's really just a maze. Alright, so we need a big key. We need a big key to get through that door, and I assume it's going to be in one of these chests around here, so I guess we just have to kind of run around and find that. Oh, I found a chest. Oh, is this going to be? Okay, that's the big key. Alright, this was that was really, really easy. Um, yeah, this is <laughs> Oh, I turned into a rabbit. Alright, okay, let's get back up there and then get into the, um, Get into the boss room, or at least closer to the boss room. I doubt it's gonna have the boss like this early in the dungeon, but I mean, it's been really fast so far, so I don't even know what to assume. <laughs> okay, we go in here, and looks like immediately we're gonna need a small key. So, okay, this is this is more of the normal dungeon. We had to go through the big maze to actually get to the real dungeon, and now now here we are. Oh, okay, here's another more of these moving tiles. I saw these in the last episode, and they were extremely annoying. Okay, let's, okay, we can't move any of these guys, so let's move into the store. Okay. Yeah, the, I can... <laughs> I have a feeling this dungeon is going to be short, but incredibly annoying at the rate it's been going. I finally got across the floor, took like four hearts of damage, and oh, it's that sound again. I really hate that sound. Okay, you get out of there, and then you do that. Whoa! Oh, I'm like right in the middle of the spikes. Okay, I do have one key that I can get... Uh, used to get through this door. Okay, let's actually, um, let's actually kind of trap those spikes. Okay, let's go through, <laughs> let's get through this door and get rid of that annoying sound. We're like 14 minutes into the recording. It usually takes me like, I don't know how long, but like by the end of, by the end of one of these episodes, I'm usually like towards like, like an hour and 15 minutes and I'm already like almost to the dungeon master. I am want, <laughs> I, I, I have to wonder what's going on. Okay, so I have to avoid these spikes because I need to hit that button again. And I'm already down like half to half health, but hopefully there should be some hearts in here. Oh, there's a button. Um, and that's what that for once you actually get a button that like just stays open. All right, well, I meant to pull the lever. Alright, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it gave me an error sound and then started dropping snakes on me. I'm not really sure what that was supposed to be about. Um, there are a lot, a lot of breakable floors around here. Yeah, so this is very ge this is very quickly getting a lot, um, a lot more complicated than the initial maze part. All right, uh, there's a panel over here from Sahasrala. <laughs> I think I finally got his name down. Um, but I'm gonna have to hit this button down, oh, down here, to activate it. So let's. Um, oh, I can actually just hit it with the, uh, hit it with the boomerang. There we go. Do nope, not that wasn't it. There's the button. Nope. Oh, the spikes, the spikes block my boomerangs. Okay, all right, let's see what this panel has to say because it might help me with the thing. Oh no, it's Zelda, it's not so, so, uh, <laughs> Link, it's me, Zelda. Don't be deceived by the magic of Blind the Thief. Be careful. Blind the Thief, okay. Um, oh, uh, let's try going through this door now that, whoa. Let's try going through this door with this button and can you guys just please stop? Okay, let's get through this door. And what's gonna be in here? Okay, some more monsters. Um, luckily I hit the button because then then this room would be kind of locked up. But uh, we can go through this. Let's wait for this guy to exit. Uh, can we go through this door? Or oh, I, th I feel like I've been there before. All right, so let's go into here and then see what see what's going on. Whoa, there's a lot of stuff. All right, I'm getting a lot closer to the boss. So let's uh, let's get rid get those bombs and. And the this button over here that will open up the door. Perfect. Okay, let's just avoid everything. Um, okay, I feel like I've been I've been here before. Oh. Okay, so I'm in the boss chamber, but he hasn't shown up. So I wonder if I have to like trigger the boss fight. Um, that's that's actually that's actually a pretty interesting concept. To where the boss isn't there initially, you have to like get the boss angry enough to actually show up. <laughs> All right. Okay. So do I have to? Yeah, I can't lift that. Whoa, I can lift that block. All right. <laughs> um, 
Okay, but I'm feeling I need to go down there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go down here at some point, but let's not risk that now. Let's go into here and figure out what this puzzle is. Uh, I think... I think this is just a room that's just full of monsters and it, like, tricked me into <laughs> into thinking I had to do this. Um, yeah, that, that kind of sucks. Okay, let's take this guy out and then hopefully it should open the door. Yeah, alright. So that was just a fake room. Oh, okay, that's just gonna... Just gonna try to pull me off the edge. Alright, let's go with here. I need a key. So, which means... Oh! Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> I got stuck there. Um, so I assume the key's in that room over there, but I need to be careful if I want to get over there. Oh! There's a, um... Oh, I had a... Apparently I had a key to open up the dungeon, but I didn't have a key to open up a stupid door. <laughs> oh, okay, so who's gonna... Who's gonna be in this dungeon? Um... I doubt I doubt the maiden's gonna be in here. I, I assume I'm gonna have to fight the boss before he'll let me actually like save the maiden. But oh wait, no wait is this is this the maiden? Hold on, hold on. This actually might be interesting. I might I might actually have to like save the maiden from the boss, and then I don't know. Uh oh, you, thank you very much. You saved my life. Please take me outside. Oh okay, I don't think it's the maiden. I think it's just someone that was being held captive, but. That would have actually been a nice twist for a dungeon. Um, seeing as I've already done like three, three. Uh, oh wait, that's not my inventory. Uh, yeah, three. So to shake things up a bit, you could like save, save the maiden, and then have to defeat the boss. Um, yeah, that would have been an interesting twist, but apparently Nintendo's not gonna do that. All right, what's ooh? You got the Titan's mitt. <laughs> Titan's mitt. Now you can lift the heaviest stones that were once impossible to budge. That looks like the Infinity Gauntlet. And the Titan's mitt? Like, Thanos is a Titan, right? I'm pretty sure he's, he is. So, um, yeah, I, <laughs> they just gave me the Infinity Gauntlet. And I have a whack a mole hammer. Oh, man. Alright, so what's what's the gauntlet going to help me with? Okay, let's avoid this guy until he stops shocking people. And that's, uh, okay, let's, so, um, I could already lift this rock. Um, do I need to go back in here? I really don't hope I, I really hope I don't have to. Uh, let's, right, let's, um, avoid that room for now. Um, can I lift this with the Titan's Mitt? Um, oh, I could lift this. I, I bet I could lift that before I just, like, didn't notice. Um, oh, and that just brings me back to this room. Um, alright. I wonder, actually, if the Maiden... If having the maiden with me will actually trigger the the boss fight. Okay, so where would that be? That's up a level and then right one and then up another one. All right, let's let's try it. Maybe having this girl with with me will trigger the boss fight. And no, that that's that's a no. All right, so that that makes me a little bit confused as to what I need to do to trigger this boss. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be in this room. Um, but maybe I need to use the gauntlets to lift up something heavy. Maybe. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's not going to be it. Hmm. Oh, there's a bomb of a wall over there. I can see that. Uh, let's try... Okay, let's get around here. Hmm. Alright, yeah. I, I forget. I have to look out for bomb of walls. Uh, okay, that's going to be on the other side. Um, it shouldn't be too hard if it, unless it starts lagging like this. Wow. That is... That is laggy. Oh, there's another bomb of a wall over here. I assume this will just bring me over to the other room. But... Yeah, I feel like I've I feel like I've already been up there, um, but that bomb wall is actually actually nice. Or I need to bomb this wall in order to get to the other bomb wall. All right, uh, so let's get this. Let's get let's bomb this one. Um, all right, hopefully it takes out that slime along with it. No, it didn't. Whoa, that guy's just like glitching along. Um, okay, so I think I, I think I had to bomb that second wall to get to the first wall. Um, I'm doing a little things a little louder, and oh, that's just that's just money. I don't need a lot of money right now. Um, okay, and more money. I didn't realize the biggest challenge of this dungeon would just be triggering the boss fight. Like, normally it's fine getting to the boss room, and then once you're at the boss room, then it's, it's fine. You you can just fight the boss, but no, they have to do it. It's really smart. I mean, granted, dungeons are... You always have to have smart, <laughs> like, solutions to the dungeons. Or, wait a minute, please don't go this way. Uh, I can go this way. Thank you very much. Uh, why doesn't she want me to go in this... Whoa! Okay, she just disappears. Oh, since I saved her now, well that no, that still that still sends that still sends snakes down at me. All right, what do I have to do? Okay, do I have to defeat all these snakes? I'll I'll defeat all these snakes if you want me to. 
Um, can't lift this table. Oh, no. That rocks. That frog is getting in the way. Okay, so, quick thing to note. Um, yeah, if you, if you <laughs> don't listen to the girl and actually go that way, then she, she disappears. Um, so yeah, you actually, you should actually probably listen to her because apparently there's a glitch in certain, certain versions of this. Um, like certain remakes of this game that once, <laughs> if you actually do that, then she will just not show up anywhere else. She'll just like... She won't even appear back in the dungeon. She'll just like disappear from the game and you'll be soft locked. So, yeah, I did, let's, needless to say, I rewinded a little bit just in case that didn't happen. Just in case that did happen. Actually, I just remembered this girl asked, <laughs> this girl actually asked me to take her outside. Um, yeah, maybe I should actually do that. Maybe I should actually like listen to her wishes and take her outside. I wasn't really thinking much about that. I thought she was asking me to like take her outside after I defeat the dungeon master, but. Apparently, apparently not. Apparently, I just have to take her outside. All right, uh, we're just at here at the entrance. Uh, wait a minute, please don't go there. What? This is the entrance. You asked me to take you outside. Hold on. What? It <laughs> Hold on. This is the exit to the dungeon, and you asked me not to take you that way. Excuse me. And now you just disappeared again. All right. Uh, let's rewind that just in case it hard locks me. I <laughs> Excuse me then. Um. What do you want from me? Because <laughs> apparently, you don't want to go outside as much as you let on earlier. Is there like another exit I don't know about that I'm supposed to take her out um, with? Because I mean, I don't, I don't know <laughs> what else to do. All right, so I haven't made any progress, but I did remember this room in here, and I did have to abandon the girl to get up here. So I really hope my my hint is uh, correct. But I remember this and. I'm pretty sure you have to blow this up, and in order to do that, um, there is a bomb. I, I, I'm pretty sure you have to bomb it, but I'm not sure how to bomb it from here. Um, I could, like, throw one of these, maybe. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Can you? Oh, <gasps> you can throw bombs! Oh, that is amazing. Uh, I missed, though. Okay, hold on. I have to get this really quick, because if I'm wrong, then the woman, the girl is just gonna disappear. All right, whoa! Yeah, I did it! All right, uh, I don't know how to get down there, though. Uh, let's, okay, let's try... Um, where would that be, actually, anyway? Oh, that would- that actually ends up in the boss room. Alright, uh, let's just run back as fast as I can, and hope that the girl is still, like, somewhere. <laughs> Alright, I'm back in the dungeon, and she is... Come on, let's get past these monsters, please. Yeah, she's still here! Alright, I actually have the right version of the game. Oh, that- that makes me feel so much better. Oh, okay, there's another one of those rabbit beams. I think they're actually called rabbit beams. I'm not sure, but, okay, it disappeared. Okay, let's get, let's get to the boss room, and then hopefully he should be there. Hopefully I was right about the light summoning him or something. Okay, let's get back. Let's get back up there. All right, we're here, and hopefully this summons the boss. All right, the light is in here. All right, is something going to go on? Do I have to step into the light? Is that going to... Whoa! Okay, where's the boss? Gah, too bright. What? What was again? What? Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. She was the... Oh my gosh. She was... She was blind? I mean, not like blind, but she was the bad guy named Blind. Oh my gosh. You, you, she seriously tricked me like that. Um, oh, alright, let's, uh, let's take out this, this, um, guy, girl. I'm not even sure what to, <laughs> what to call it. Um, okay, let's take out, let's take out the boss. Um, alright, so it didn't give me any new items in this dungeon. Um, so, oh! Okay, the Master Sword actually did something. Okay, let's take... Oh, okay, that doesn't do anything. Whoa, 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 hold on. Since when do you have multiple heads? All right, um... All right, they didn't give me any new items in this game, like they like I got the Fire Rod in the last one. So, um, I assume I'm just gonna have to use the Master Sword the, to the best of my abilities. And it doesn't help that stuff keeps shooting fireballs and lasers at me. All right, we're gonna... Okay, let's wait for that guy to regain his body. And then avoid the heads, which I can't attack, and he's just gonna kill me. Oh my gosh! All right, let's hit, let's hit a couple times with the sword. Oh, sword, please, please work, please work. I'm so hurt. Luckily, it doesn't even matter because I can rewind. But <laughs> like I said in the last episode, like serious respect to you guys who can't rewind, who played this like when it first came out, or like on the super SNES, whatever remake thing. I don't know what. <laughs> I don't remember what it was called. Um, yeah, the, I'm not sure if that has any rewind functions, but 
Yeah, that too, if you guys played it on that. Alright, uh, actually, oh, yes, I, I remember, I just remembered I have a bottle that will heal me up fully. Yes! <laughs> I get the, get the sword beam back. Well, not unless, it's not unless someone shoots a fireball at me. Okay, let's get, is the sword, okay, the sword beam hurts him. Alright, this might be just like, if I, if I stop getting hit by stuff, this might actually be just like, smooth sailing from here. It would really help if stuff just stops shooting fireballs at me everywhere. Okay, all these fireballs and heads and stuff are just bouncing me away from him. And wait, the sword's not even working anymore? Hold on, hold on, hold on. The sword's not even damaging him. Hold on. Oh wait, there, okay, there it goes. Oh, come on, let's hit it, let's hit it. I've got three hearts left, I'm not getting- Oh, there we go, got him. Okay. <laughs> okay, got him. Another heart container. That is number... 13, I think so. I think that is. Um, that means I would have been able to get the Master Sword um, in the original Zelda, but I already got it because I did some other trial to make <laughs> to make sure I was worthy. All right, that is Crystal Number Four. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. As the wise men sealed the way to the dark world, the Knights of Hyrule defended them from the attacks of evil monsters. I heard that the Knights of Hyrule were nearly wiped out in that battle. You are perhaps the last one to carry on the bloodline of the knights. It is ironic that the last one in the line has the potential to become the hero of legend. Surely you can destroy Ganon. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> I do want to say not at all to, like, the last one. It's just like, go fight Ganon. Do you understand? No. <laughs> May the way that hero lead to the Triforce. Alright, there we go. Um, I'm looking at the recording now, right now. It just passed 50 minutes, so... That seems a little bit more reasonable for <laughs> what we've been doing so far. Um, all right, so at at this point, I would normally just end the episode, but I mean, I have time to make up, so um, so let's not actually do the next dungeon, but let's actually like let's at least get to it. Um, now I believe there is something around here that could help me out. Um, I'm not sure if I have to go to Light World or if it's here in the Dark World, but. There's some some guy around here I need to help out. Like even in looking up, whoa, whoa. hello <laughs> tree that scared me. Um, oh, village of outcasts. This is the village of outcasts. People without rupees are not welcome here. Oh, all right, this isn't this isn't Kakariko Village at all. Okay, <laughs> uh, this is the Dark World equivalent. Um, as I was saying, like even in looking up like quality of life things, like I didn't actually look up what they were because I didn't want like spoilers or anything. Uh, Village of Outcasts, the same thing. Oh, there's a... Hold on. There's, I, I bet there's gonna be something around here. There's a fairy and health. Alright, that didn't, um... That didn't help me out too much, but I guess it's... I guess it's fine. Alright, so we need to find the guy around here. He might be... Might be down here. Um... Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, I think this is it. And... Whoa! Okay, uh... I normally won't be able to lift these things. I wonder if that's what the, um... With the, uh, glove I got, the gauntlet <laughs> I got in the, um, dungeon was for. Alright, uh, where are you, guy? Rip, rip. Your body did not change. You are not just an ordinary guy, are you? I used to live in Kakariko Town. I wonder what my partner is doing there without me. Uh, Ribbit, I have a request of you. Please take me to my partner. Ribbit, please, please. Alright, now he's gonna follow me. Um, actually don't know what to do, this guy. Um, I guess, actually, first we need to go to... Um, the light world because he's he did mention specifically Kakarika village um, So is he gonna actually follow me until like well there we go. He actually follows me and oh <laughs> He's a dwarf. Oh, that is that was that was amazing Okay, so where is this partner gonna be? So let's take it. Oh, that's a cuckoo um, What is gonna be in here you can't enter with something following you. Oh, all right um, Is it gonna be this this house up here? Maybe I smoke goes to the gym. Oh, there's another dwarf Oh, happy days are here again. You found my partner. We are very happy now. Drop by here again. At that time, we will temper your sword perfectly. I was like, <laughs> like blacksmith brothers. Um, all right. I've got a. I have a lot of people that tell me to come again, but like, I know. I'm pretty sure there's no like timed thing in this game. Like, I'm pretty sure this game is too old to have like timed events. So I wonder if come back just means like, go in, like just leave and come back. Are they gonna? Okay, they're working on something now. Hey, you! Welcome! Ask us to do anything to temper myself. Okay! There we go. Uh, sword temper, 10 rupees. Uh, sure. Tempered, yeah? Are you sure? Uh, yes. Alright, no problem. We'll have to keep your sword for a while. Oh. I can't- I can't actually fight anything. I can punch stuff, apparently. Hold on, does this actually do damage? <laughs> will punch- will punching stuff actually do damage? Let's- let's test on these cuckoos who can't actually damage me back. No, that doesn't- doesn't do anything. 
Um, all right, let's go back and see if they've got my sword ready. Um, are they working on it? I'm sorry, we're not done yet. Come back after a while. Oh, all right. Um, maybe if I go farther. <laughs> maybe if I, like, trick the game into thinking, um, thinking I've waited a long time. Okay, let's go all the... Okay, I've got technically gone all the way to Kakariko Village. And, um... This, are they gonna have my sword now? Please tell me they're gonna have my sword now. Your sword is tempered up. Now hold it. Woo! Alright. <laughs> that, so, that took really short, a uh, really short amount of time. Great, your sword is stronger. You can feel the sheer power flowing through your body. Alright, now this is, um... Now we do a little more damage with our sword. That's, that's nice to have. Alright, so where's the, um... Where's the next? Oh, we need to go back to the Dark World to find out where the next dungeon is. Okay, honestly, this thing looks like a lightsaber. Like it doesn't even it doesn't even look like a sword. It's just a lightsaber now, which I'm, I mean I'm perfectly fine with. I'm perfectly okay with that. It's awesome, but you know it's just this this stuff you notice with like older sprites. Oh wait, uh, I left my portal up here. <laughs> I was I was expecting it to be back down with the dwarf guy. All right, now where is the next dungeon going to be? That's number six. Uh, that's number uh, five. Okay, that's the that's the ice place. Uh, I'm not really sure. Seven is over there. Okay, I only have three left. All right. Um. Okay, let's fly to the <laughs> let's fly to the next dungeon. Um, let's see. Will the flute, the duck, <laughs> take me anywhere close to it? Uh, let's try this. Whoa, whoa, whoa come on! No, no. Oh, I, I wonder if I have to stay still for the duck to actually help me. Uh, all right. Are you gonna? I'm, I'm calling you. I'm calling you. Could you please help me out? Um, just to be down here. Well, where's it? Where'd the duck go? Like the duck's supposed to help me like travel places, but he just like disappeared. <laughs> disappeared. Um, do I have to go to the light world? Oh, am I only allowed to travel in the light world? Um. Okay, let's tr let's try that. Let's try traveling through the light world. Because I, I guess I technically I technically resurrected this duck in the light world, so oh yeah okay, so I do have to be in the light world, which kind of is kind of bad because I need to be in <laughs> uh, my portal can only exist in one spot in the light world, but I assume I assume there's gonna be a portal somewhere around here that will help me out. Okay, it's like right, like see this landmass right here? It's like right here I think. No, never mind. It's this land mess up here. All right. Uh, oh, there's a there's a very there's a strong looking rock there. Oh, forgot you can't actually like attack this guys. Oh, oh yes, that's a portal to the dark world. Perfect. All right, now I think I can just use my portal from the light worlds to. Um, I think I can just use the magic mirror to get back to the light world, and my other portal will have disappeared. Yeah, there we go. All right, I think I just made a. I think I just made a portal <laughs> um, on top of another portal. But uh, anyway, that means we're back. We are at this dungeon. So we have three more to go. And I have... What time is it? Um, It's 9.09. .09, and my subscription ends like 4.30 um, on Monday. And I don't record on Sunday. So that effectively gives me... Um, was that? 19 hours to finish this. And... Counting, you know, like sleep and stuff into that means that I have roughly, uh, what would that mean? Uh, six. I use, I've been getting up at ten because of the whole pandemic thing I've been sleeping in, so that gives me six hours plus sharing the switch with my brothers. That's gonna be, um, it's gonna be pretty tight, but I think I can do it. With only three dungeons left, each one takes me about an hour. Um, so yeah, I could, <laughs> if I wake up early, maybe, then I could definitely do this on time. But until then, that is just about, just about as much time as I have today. So in the next episode, we're going to be going into these, this ice fortress um, with my new found, <laughs> new lightsaber. Um, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!